Whitelist.io Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we got a little past push rest to unbox DNA every month so we're going to be opening it every month. So let's get into it. So let's see, it says little passport. Okay, I'm gonna rip off the tape. Alright. Forensic science. Forensic science. Alright. And next we got a little passport thing. It's a postcard that you have to cut out. And you can send it for thank you, which I will do. Let's do this one. Just a little welcome card Sam. Welcome to the science expedition. And so this is a forensic science in the great being eight paper. I think it's a manual or either a book that I can read. And then lastly, and most importantly, the be so, science expedition. This is the lab notebook. Nice little bag to carry your stuff in. Alright, we'll set that to the side here. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Definitely well sealed. This is the forensic science uh, sticker. Put that on your computer somewhere. Mm -hmm. Bubble wrap. So this is the lab notes. So this is the book to put the notes in as we search for clues. These are some lab items. Ooh, what's this? So it looks like a napkin or paper towel, but it's a circle. I don't know what it is, so I'm not going to put it. Okay, you got yourself a magnifying glass. Okay, so for this bag here, it says, This month, in the first package, you'll receive our signature blue tote bag. Perfect for storing all your upcoming activities. You'll also receive an experiment kit and adventure pack comic that explore forensic science. Um, so, our mission is to inspire your child to learn about the world, and our products are designed to do exactly that. Activity-based packages spark curiosity and make abstract scientific principles tangible for kids. Action-packed experiments like air-powered rockets, high-flying catapults, bring discovery to life in exciting ways while teaching your child new concepts. Uh, we work with professional educators, PhD, and award-winning designers to create meaningful products for you and your family. All right, so next month is saying keep an eye out for next month's delivery, which will cover. New real life mysteries and experiment and adventures. Part of the joy of Little Passports is taking looking forward to receiving a new package every month. Alright, So, that's 
says the time careful. <laughs> so it's saying that this is gonna be uh, the area of science is called genetics. So the times are DNA extraction. Yep. Yay. A very, very DNA extraction. <laughs> so we'll be extracting something from strawberries. So it's saying the time to complete this is about an hour. So we'll be chopping the video up and bring some time left to uh, so it says include you have some small rubber bands, you got some rubber bands. So you got the rubber bands. Okay. Then we need a filter. So a white circle things to filter. Big white circle things to filter. Test to where it is. Test right to here. The cat. Okay. Okay. Show everybody the test tube. So this is the test tube. Test tube okay, with so the cat. Okay, so look at this and look at the test tube. And then for the cat, it's like a water bottle cat. So I'm going to put it on here, and boom. All right, the last piece that's included is your test tube rack. So here's the test tube rack. You'll be able to set the tube inside of it. So some items that we have to get here at the house. We need a strawberry. Did you get any strawberries left or did you eat them all? You and mommy eat all the strawberries? Uh, I can go check real quick. All right, we need strawberries. We need some salt. We need water, a teaspoon and a tablespoon, some cold rubbing alcohol, some dish soap, two small cups, some scissors, some toothpick and a Ziploc bag. Okay, so we're going to pause the video. So yeah, let's try to gather all these items up and uh, we'll be right back. Pause. Okay, guys, we're back. So we had to go get all the supplies from the, our home here. And so we'll cover those real quick. We're going to need a strawberry. The strawberry is going to be used for the DNA experiment itself. We needed some salt. We got some salt here. We needed some water. We have water here. Then we needed a teaspoon and a tablespoon. So this right here is a tablespoon. I don't know if you can get this. See it. It's got a TBSP on it. So that's the tablespoon. Where's the teaspoon at? Where's the teaspoon? We're gonna use this to measure out as well. That was smaller. Tablespoon, teaspoon. Okay. We needed some soap. We got a little dishwashing soap. Uh, we need some cups. We got the cups. We needed some scissors. We got some handy dandy scissors. We needed a toothpick. And we needed a Ziploc bag. So we got a lot of things going on here. So we got 10 easy steps here. The first one is with the alcohol, we need to put it in the freezer to get cold. So we've already done that. So you guys don't have to wait on that because it has to stay in there for at least 30 minutes. Next thing up is we have to make our solution. Our solution is gonna be water with some salt and some soap. So the purpose of this, it says that soaps break down fatty oils. So think about how much cleaner your dishes get when you use soap to wash them. The thin membranes surrounding the strawberry cells contain fatty uh, molecules called lipids. If you know about uh, your blood, there's lipids in your blood. So. The soapy solution dissolves the lipids, which exposes the inside of the cell, which is the nuclei. These include DNA. So the salt breaks apart protein chains in the nuclei and allows the DNA to separate from the proteins. And I'll give you a quick little visual of what that is right there. Strawberry and then the, the nuclei we're trying to achieve here. So first, 
Brooklyn. If you can help me, we're gonna take a cup here and we need to put some water in here. So we need to put one tablespoon. So that's gonna be two of these. That's a half a tablespoon. So we need two of those full of water. Go ahead and give me one more. Thank you. So, next we need a pinch of salt. So I got some salt here in my hand. I'm gonna allow Brooklyn to get you a pinch. Pinch of salt. Yep, it's a pinch of Throw it in there. You need a pinch, that's good. I'm gonna put the extra right there. Next, we're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of the dishwashing soap. So, not teaspoon, yeah, teaspoon. Teaspoon, so here, put a teaspoon in our pour. And then we need a fourth. So we're gonna pour that inside our solution here. Got it. Nice. So, we've completed step two. Step one was the alcohol in the freezer. Step two was our solution of water, salt, and soap. So step three, we're gonna take the strawberry and we're gonna put it inside of the Ziploc bag and we're gonna actually have a little fun and smash it up here to get some of that DNA. So Brooklyn's gonna take the strawberry, place it in the bag. I'm gonna fill its bag up. And goodbye strawberry. Goodbye strawberry. I am sad that you're dying today. <laughs> So it says smash it with your fist, knead it with your hands. Ugh, I bust the bag. <laughs> Make sure there are no large ch chunks remaining when you're finished. It's, it says here, be careful not to break the plastic. What plastic? The Ziploc bag. Oh. You, can put it, you can put it down here and you can beat on it. Don't hit it too hard. Be careful. All right. So next, you can see here that we have the smashed strawberry here. I'm sad for you sad for Mr. Strawberry? Yeah. yeah, those were some pretty tasty strawberries. So next, for step four, we, we need to open the bag. Okay. Let me get everything down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Be careful. All right, so you'll be able to do that here with the next step as well. Okay. So next step for step number four, we're gonna take the bag and we're gonna add in our solution of the water, salt, and the soap. So if you can grab the solution and pour it in the bag, be sure not to spill it here. Good job. All right, you can set that to the side. This smells like slime. Yeah, so you have to be careful here. It does say that this right here is gonna to start to open up the, uh, the molecules here. So if you can go ahead and mash that around here for about another minute or so. Be careful as well. this DNA by taking some of those filters I said it like a coffee filter we're gonna put it over top of that small cup that we, other small cup that we have and 
put a rubber band up over it so we can create this filter system. So we have our other small cup. We have a filter. Grab it here. We have a filter. And then we have one of our rubber bands. So taking the cup, we're gonna put the filter over top of it and then we're gonna slide the rubber band over top. Might need some help here. This is probably a good one. Just around the edges. Good job. Alright, that's good. So that's what it looks like, guys. Got the cup. Just take the, put the rubber band around the uh, edge of the lid here. And we have our filter. So that is step number five. Uh, what we're going to do is take that bag. We're going to take the corner of it. This might get a little messy here. And we're going to cut the uh, edge of it and let that solution with the strawberry fall on top and then slowly drain down. So this is going to be like a filtration system. So I think, yeah, I know you're ready for the messy stuff. I'm going to sit this cup on top of our, uh, our plate here. We're going to try to do this without spilling it everywhere. I, okay. Okay. So let's show everybody here. We're going to cut this corner. It's a big corner cut. And we're going to slowly pour that careful and get it right on there all right get it on the top that's good that's good that's good so y'all guys can see that it's on it top like a cupcake it does look like a little cupcake it's sitting on top here and it's slowly starting to drip to the bottom so this is supposed to take about five minutes here it's going to take a while it's not going to be a whole lot that's going to come through here but after it gets down to the bottom Start we'll show you guys what it looks like at the bottom. You can see a very small red tint right here at the bottom where it's already starting to drain. So we're going to take a little break here while that, while that uh, drains so you don't have to sit here. It's like watching paint dry. So we'll be right back in just a second. All right, guys. What? We're back. Yep. So we've let the, um, <laughs> the strawberry in the solution. We let it filter through here, as you can see down here. This is the product that's drained through. And next, we're going to move on to the next step. So, we got the alcohol is out of the freezer now. This is the rubbing alcohol, as you it's can see. It's very cold. So, yeah, Brooklyn said it's cold. Very cold. And we have our test tube rack and our test tube. You can't see it here, but it has the milliliters all the way up the side here. And it says we need to go to about 25 milliliters, which is pretty much all the way to the top. Brooklyn, can you go get us a mask real quick? Because this says this could put off some vapors and we want to make sure that we're staying safe. That's right over here. All right, guys, we're back again. As you can see, we got our mask on for our PPP, our protective. Uh, equipment, we got our masks, we got glasses. So we got the alcohol, Brooklyn. Let's go ahead and pour some into the test tube. We're going to fill it up to 25 milliliters. So go ahead. It's going to be, it's going to be right here. So go ahead and pour the alcohol. Go ahead, just go ahead and start pouring. mixture here what we're gonna do we're gonna take this filter off this is gonna be a little messy, messy yeah to say the least 
the I'm gonna get the rubber band off of here. So we're peeling it back. Most of it I think is on the top, so I don't want to get it in. So it's just a little bit. As you can see here, this is what we're gonna pour What's and like, tie the test tube. That's like Kool-Aid. It's like Kool-Aid, huh? All right, so we're gonna test tube. We're gonna pour this into the alcohol, and then Brooklyn's gonna quickly put the cap on it. Okay, you ready? Okay. This right here could put off some vapor, so that's why we're wearing the mask. Ooh. All right, put the cap on it. I wish we, I wish we could. The view is how it went down. You can pick it up and show them what it looks like. So you see that at the very bottom, you can already see where it's separated. Don't see. Kind of turn it so they can see. Right. Let me see here. I see something. Yeah, that's what I wanted them to see. You can already see how it's already starting to separate. With my glass. See if I can get this to focus. But right here in the middle, there's a white blob. You can see with like a bubble on top. And that is the DNA starting to separate already. As I turn it, you can see that you see it right there? There's like a strand with a with a bubble on top. Where's the magnifying glass? The magnifying glass is over here. I have it. So what we're supposed to do right now is let this sit for another five minutes. It's, it's saying that white stuff on top is the DNA starting to separate. And you think you'll see it starting to float to the top. So I'm going to go wash my hands because I'm, I need it. What we should see here, after these five to 10 minutes, we should see a whole lot more strands coming apart and we should be able to pick up those DNAs. So guys, we'll be right back after five to 10 minutes of this sitting. So now we've let this sit for uh, at least 20 minutes now. Um, and you can see here possibly that the DNA has started to separate and you can see the strands in here. So what we're about to do now is to pop the cap off. Brooklyn's gonna take the two pig and, and lift up some of these uh, DNA strands that have separated. You might not be able to see from the glare right there. But we'll insert some B some B roll that um let you see it there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good with the magnifying. I keep it still there. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll put we'll put some B roll and you can see a little bit of the strand there. Alright, so here we go. I'm taking the top off, get the toothpick ready. Pick us off and you can dig in there and get some of those strands. No, no, no. There you go. You pull some out? Yeah. I always thought that this was middle. Let me help you out. Mm. Okay. You cut that string and look to see the string. That tiny string. The camera's over here. I don't think they need a magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. Show them the string. This is just a strand of. Over here. Then you cut stuff. It's part of the strand there, the DNA strand. And so the soap, 
the salt and the water mixture together help to separate the fatty acids from the oils. And that's the same type of forensic science is done when they do DNA tracing. You can see some more down here at the bottom of this here where it's separated. All right, guys, so that's pretty neat on how they do DNA tracing. That's the that's the molecular that's the the, the molecular uh, the molecular makeup of everybody's uh, makeup inside. Like everybody has their own uh, molecules inside their body. So like when you take your blood cells, they can take take some of your blood and do forensics on it like this here and see what your makeup is. So if you were to drip blood, you cut your finger, you drip blood somewhere, they could do the same kind of test here and find out that that blood belongs to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. They can do that same thing for anybody else as well. All right, All right guys, so this is the first of many science uh, experiments that we'll be doing here on the channel as well. Um, so I think next up, the next one we're gonna be doing is a fingerprint. So we'll be able to take and do a fingerprint uh, Example, um, the way you can trace people by their finger, finger, fingerprints. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching today. I hope you guys learned some things. And uh, until next time, like and subscribe and also comment. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.